One, two, three. Shut the fuck up! I fucking love hot sauce! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm so- <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode three of Chats. By the way, the camera is right there. Uh, I'll, I'll go and okay. delete the scenes later. Don't uh- fucking touch the camera. <laughs> My guest this week, <laughs> even though it's been two months since we filmed, is Elise. Okay, that's so rude. Um, so, Elise. Yeah, yeah. And so, yes, yeah, so this is Elise. Welcome for episode three. First question, what do you think of my hair? Honestly. You know what? No, I already told you what I thought of your hair. <laughs> she hates it. I hate because it. she wants a twin. We were twins. I do. Like, my hair's not done right now, but, like, it's, it's up. Better it's than spiky. Yeah, yeah, Actually, yeah. I could use a haircut right now, but, like, what are you doing, What do you man? hate? No, okay. I just, like, I don't know. Okay, I'll That's tell you what I hate. Okay, tell me what you hate about it. <laughs> it's just the perfect way to start. It's the perfect way to fucking start. You know what? Tell me what you hate it. Tell them. Yeah. To be honest, um, <laughs> <laughs> you see me making fun of you. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I thought you. To were be honest, it. Um, you I don't. I don't like the little like wispy things. Uh, in the back. I don't like the fucking mullet. No, yeah. I don't okay. like the mullet. But if you were gonna rock a mullet, mm-hmm. shave this and oh, rock a mullet. God. Like yeah. Okay. No, I don't take offense. By the it's way, it's just like I a totally swoopy it. Audrey Hepburn, Michael Myers kind Thank of you. fucking. Yeah. That's a compliment. Thank you, Audrey Hepburn. Michael Myers, though. What? what yeah, the Who's killer. That? He's the killer. Michael, like, oh, yeah. like the face, like, the face mask. Yeah, guy. you know what? That's a perfect analogy. I love drunk <laughs> you. This one was scared about doing this because she's so drunk. The I do have. If I was wearing a hockey no. mask, yeah, it's all like slid <laughs> back. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. That's so hot. But you know what? I love it more now. I love it more now. Okay, here's the backstory. So me and Elise have constantly been mistaken for being twins since birth. No, we're not twins. But girls, like, let's see your eye. Do a close-up of the eye. This green-ass eye. Wait. Okay, good. We have lighting. Um, (laughs) I thought it wasn't on. This green-ass lighting eye gets mistaken for this brown shit brown eye in which girls would come in to tell me no don't tell me about that i already know oh, no, 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 no. you don't know yeah, it started turn that fucking <laughs> off right now turn, turn it off i'm turn not the phone turn off. it off turn it off right now <laughs> who is that is it all parade parade oh f- fuck you yeah, parade. Sorry, parade parade wants to see our episode so bad okay okay pause okay okay, okay. too many cases so it started, I remember in 2016-ish, you, me, Allie, Mandy, Grayson, um, were there, Carly, at Town Hall. Girl says to us, yeah, like, she says to me, I believe, I've totally seen you at, like, um, blah, blah, and I'm like, I haven't been there in, like, 20 years. What the fuck are you talking about? And then I re- that's when I started realizing, oh, no. Yeah, oh, twins. no. Don't fucking say that one story. I already know. I want to say that one story. It's not funny because everyone's going to believe it. <laughs> it's, it's like <laughs> it's like believing that you're a cheater. That's my cheater story. Okay, it's sorry. not true. Yeah, no, it's, it's not, not true. Like, you know what? Now that we said this, you got to tell them, but I will tell you the real version after keep it short go ahead tell them the basic okay answer. so i'm at the bar working and uh this girl comes up to me like hey and i'm all like hey 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 <laughs> she's like no 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 hey hey no uh, you were at my fucking apartment watching the bachelor excuse me that was a burp uh. Oh, it was a real burp. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't wait to put that in to the deleted scene. So then, so then she says, uh, yeah, you were at my apartment in New West watching The Bachelor, and you were kind of hitting on me. And I was like, uh, no, I actually have a girlfriend. Uh, I've never seen you in my life. And it's actually never happened. She's like, then how do I know you work at that restaurant? Which we can't say. Yeah. <laughs> Which we cannot say it where we met. And I was like, okay. Um, this is weird. She's like, yeah, and how do I know this? And I was like, okay, the, the Bachelor, the Wait a sec. How do I know you work at... How do I... And then... And then... And then she connects it and says, oh, oh you mean... You're talking then, about my twin, 
black elite. Because I am clearly we're so very, identical, very and and, and well, but black. And, and then yeah. this is Elise, and we have a very similar energy, yeah, same build. You know, she's a little bit fatter than me, but Sorry. don't say anything. And Alcohol. then, but she still slays more and gets some more relationships because I'm emotionally unavailable. By the way, you got to focus on the camera. Oh yeah, fuck. I keep looking over here for some. Reason. I keep looking at you too. Yeah, stop looking at me. Yeah, You're fine. obsessed with me. Um. Uh, anyway, so okay. Sorry. So yeah. So this girl. Okay. So here's what happened. There was no girl. There was a bunch of girls. I go over to my feminine, like, using a double-sided vibrating strap-on friend's house, uh, who, um, you know, why did I mention that detail? I'm going to have to cut it or keep it in. <laughs> but Wait, no one's going to know. No one was gonna, using the double-sided. You're not going to, I'll tell you later, but you're not going to even know who that is. But imagine two femmes, yeah. and, like, one side goes in one girl, and then, and then the, the shaft comes out 7.5 inches. You put a bullet in the bottom, and it can like, vibrate, <laughs> so it's oh, inside you. Oh, Jesus Dude, Christ. I had to... Literally R word myself to get it in me, and I in my ex was a virgin. Jokes on you, two hundred fifty dollars. Fuck me, why did I buy that? I really wanted to fuck her. Okay, so dude, dude, that's enough. That's enough. Stop cringing. So I'm at this fucking high rise. I'm watching The Bachelor. I didn't hit on anyone. I might have made jokes, but girls, here's my issue with girls: is they think just because I'm friendly and nice, do you ever get this? They think you're hitting on them. It's like, oh my time. god, Elise is hitting on yep, me. She's so into me, dude. It's called. <laughs> I I flirt with this big fat mother at my work, and do did I really mean it? No fucking way. And I'll tell you who it is after, and you're I gonna die because it's so funny, right? You do that all the time. You grab Thank me you. a lot. Did I grab to, you too? To the point where my girlfriend's like, uh, is there something? Are you fucking? And I'm like, Ooh, no, there's next, not. Something. Next point. We need to get this out of, off off the chest. So when we used to go out together, right? When she was single for like a minute, um, <laughs> like this fucking one. By the way, this is she for anyone who's wondering. Um, this fucking one. <laughs> smell it. Um, this. One, <laughs> put your mouth on it. No, this one. This fucking one. Um, what was I gonna say? Every time. What was I gonna say? Every time we go out, you would think we're together. We no, would have the audacity. Did the people would think we were together though? Would they not? Yeah, yeah, but that's not what you were gonna say. You were gonna say something oh. about like me hitting on people. No, it was gonna be about people thinking we were together because we would be friendly together. Wait, what? No. Oh no. The ADD. I got tested. No, it's not ADD. We have it's adult tequila. ADD. It's we, have, tequila. we have AADD. Adult adult attention deficit murder. Um, anyway, yeah, fuck you for buying the Patron. Where's that bottle? Yeah, bring oh. it out here. Okay, you know just... what? We actually are. This episode is actually sponsored by Patron. Sponsored. Um, we're Thank making you. $1,000 each just to sponsor yeah. and say, yeah. thanks, Patron, for being expensive and going down smoother than your brother, your dirty Mexican Sanchez <laughs> brother, Jose Cuervo. I fucking hate you, Jose. Anyway, back to business. <laughs> Elise, tell me where you grew up. No, that's boring. Tell me how you knew you were a gay, a dirty, dirty lesbian gay. Tell me about that while I pour a shot. Okay, pour a shot. I'm going to pour a shot. How do I know I was gay? Well, when I was five, I <laughs> <laughs> I found a hole in the wall and put my dick in it. Oh! What? No, she's so gay. That she's one of those ones that's like, literally, she's like, I don't want my girl cheating on me with another man. I'm uh, like, another man? I'm like, she like literally, like I once, did. I once had to intro this one to a table and I was like, yeah, and this is her. She'll be taking over because she's gonna. And, she, I, and it was hard to say. I was like, his shit, his shit. His shit. I forgot you were a woman in yeah, that moment. A lot okay. of people do. But tell me, what so was it? I'll like, tell you my first inkling. You yeah. tell me your first inkling about well, being a fucking gay ass, dirty ass homo. Dirty ass fucking homo. Oh, well, fucking like dirt, literally, dirty like, age five, I would ask my mom to buy me underwear and like any guys like, underwear, like boxes. Well, well, any age five year old fucking girl wants like cute little flirty things and. I said flurry, but I meant flurry, fluffy. like fluffy, like flowery. Yeah, it's okay. Flurry and fluffy is flurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flurry, fluffy, flurry. <laughs> so you wait, you would, you would not ask for that. No, so I wouldn't ask for that. I'd ask for like boxer briefs. Oh, you had the audacity at five oh, years yeah. old. I was like, I'm five years old. I was like, I want the same underwear as my brother because that's not fair because he is he and I am me. Oh, you had a poem going on there. He is he and I am me. He is he and I am me. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I got these boxer underwears, and it was the most comfortable fucking things in the whole world. They are, right? I still wear them to this day. Fuck, it took me like 27... Okay, okay, I believe you. I believe you. I believe yeah. you. Yeah. Jesus. It took me 27, 28 years to ask for those. I was so... I was a late bloomer. This one was like, sorry... Sorry, I'm a guy or a girl. I don't know what I am. Sorry, I hate you. This one. Yeah, but the irony is this one is like totally like almost borderline trans. However, you're not. Like you're a woman. You are who you are. You Fair though. But this one. Should we I, touch on that? 
Nah. Meh, we could get in the, if you want. We can later. cut it later. Yeah. Okay. So, but we do not have mastered cutting. So, like, make sure it's an obvious. <laughs> so then we just go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cut. And then that would be yeah. the cut place. <laughs> You. It's so hard to cut. I'm on this phone for hours. It took me 36 hours for 30 minutes in my first episode. What? It takes literally That's ridiculous. days, weeks. Like I'm so late. Okay, but d- this one in 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 conclusion with your um, it took. Wait, wh- wh- where were we again? So H5 boxer pants. Yeah, fuck you because I. It took me so many. It took me decades to. to I wanted boy shorts. I could have the confidence to ask for that as a like we were both young athletes. Yeah, yeah. Right, swish and hockey, Sheesh. and I wanted fucking and I wanted the sick ass skater shoes and shit and my mom's like okay i cried let me tell you this i was in gymnastics there was a chick pissing her pants right next to me and i'm like at least i'm not as lame as that kid but i was legit scared of going across the um gymnastics like they had to like walk me across i'm like no but then there was a chick peeing themselves but in that class in gymnastics when i was five my mom used to put me in there and there and she used to try and make me wear pink spandex like Ooh. lulu pink like, and i'd like, be like no uh, it was the, like the end full of the body world suit the end of not body thank god oh but not the, body the, suit imagine lululemons but pink slash mm. pants i could not wear pink i called them sexy pants even <laughs> lulu, like black black pants but as a kid i called them sexy pants i'm like no i don't want to wear those sexy pants <laughs> i don't want to wear those sexy <laughs> okay so back to you so you knew you were gay when you were like so age five, five. same so age five same and then okay now we go through our elementary years. Oh my god! And I think in grade two, I was just so tight with all the boys, mm. all my boyfriends, so tight. And like grade two, I said H two. I meant grade two. <laughs> um, but they would always like chase around girls, and so like I was mm. only always friends with them. So I just like follow around, chase around girls. Mm. And actually, my first ever, I'm so sorry, Miley Cyrus, uh, girl crush. It was Miley? No, no it was someone else. It was, it was Miley. someone else. I feel, I feel like a cheating hoe. Mm, you are cheating on Miley, but fuck. Who's but it was my grade two uh, teacher. Oh! She was wow. a half. She was half Asian, half white. A half her. Her name was Mrs. Silversides. Well, we gotta look her up. Oh, my God. <laughs> is she still alive? <laughs> How old is she? She's probably like 80 now. <laughs> but hey, she man. was banging. She was like a <laughs> half. Asian, half white, like a tinting glass, and I'm like, oh, oh I'm about to talk something. Oh, dude, dude, you're six years old. You're fantastic. Uh, like, I'm like seven, your, yeah. About your half Asian, half white, banging <sighs> teacher, Mrs. Silversides. Okay, pause that story. Here's my thing. I was grade three. Uh, I was seven, so two years later, but I knew I was gay since I was four or five. But I was seven, I had a crush on Miss Moss. Shout out Miss Moss. She was like 30, she was hot. And here's the thing, here's why I ruined my life in grade three, where I made a good joke, but it was not, it did not land. So I go, um, yeah, I'm like, it was like, it was like manure outside, like the farm smell came yeah, in the yeah, bathroom, yeah, yeah. the whiff, the whiff did over the summer. Down, N- Langley. Okay. Close. Yep. Yep. And so then I go, um, Miss Moss, did you fart? And then people are gasping, like, oh! some people are laughing. Huh! And then she's like, Brittany, that was very rude. I'm like, mommy. And then that was it. <laughs> and I'm like, Fuck. She? So she was my fucking crush. I was like, oh, oh I want to fuck Miss Moss. I don't want to Miss Moss now. Ah, probably dead as well as Mrs. Silverstone. Okay, uh, okay, back to you though. Okay, back to you. So that happens in grade kindergarten. Like, That's what, like kindergarten grade two. And did you like, because back in the day, the kindergartners would like spoon, like be in like relationships and we would play oh. house. Yeah, we play house. Oh, okay, you play and house. I would at my house. I play house, and I'd be the boyfriend. Oh, I was always the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was always the dog. Okay, pause. Yeah. I got to be the boyfriend, and like Fuck, it was I wish amazing. I was the boyfriend. Why? Fuck. Like you mean in school know. though, or outside? No, at school? home I had this. Um, <sighs> I had this like childhood friend. I won't mention her name because she'll. Ever. Do not say her name. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, we would always put like get you more in the frame. Uh, <sighs> how do we get you more in the frame? Yeah, that's where I need you. But don't don't hurt yourself. But like, no, not on my side. Stop, stop, stop. But I need um, you in the frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she would always play like Jasmine and Aladdin. I'd be like, yeah, were you Jafar? I want to be you Jasmine, Jasmine or I want to be Aladdin. And she'd be like, no, you're the dog. <laughs> I was like, there's no dog in, in her defense. You did have hair like that went like this back in the day, and it made you look like a little emo dog. I mean, in actually my defense, back in the day, I had like straight up bangs. Oh. This is before the Justin Bieber. You were banging. <laughs> Can I tell you my first impression of you? Yeah. I look into the threes. There's a section not known as anything else, but the threes. 
Um, <laughs> I was like, wait a sec. <laughs> There's a wine I was like, why are you saying the thing? And I'm <laughs> um, yeah, there's this place. Uh, we worked at this Greek restaurant. And um, I look into the dining room. And there's a section known as the threes. And I look. And I see you at 331. I see you at table 31. And you just kind of, like, look at me. Like, you're, like, look. You weren't looking at me. But you were all, like, have your tray. And you're, like. And I was, like. And I just looked. And I'm all intimidated. I'm, like. And then I was like, oh, my God, that bitch looks scary. And then people had talked of you and me like, oh, that's Elise. Or, yeah, I, like, the, you remind me of Elise a little bit, except less of a bit. And they're like, whatever. And then uh, basically, <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, I just saw you and I'm like, that bitch looks intimidated. So my first impression of you was intimidation and uh, just full on. Um, you bring out the disgusting slut in me. I'd never do that again. I'm normally with anyone else. Anyway, <laughs> yes. me, me in episode one, Yuko, as I'm trying to like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, hook it up. Yeah, you're like, I'm trying to get into your pants. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, chill about it. I swear I don't eat meat. <laughs> Is that sausage? No. <laughs> I, I left the sausage years ago. <laughs> uh, uh, side note, we just had sausage and potatoes. Yeah, don't so. tell my vegan exes like, once funny. again. Yeah. Oh, man, Shaylee's going to love this. Shaylee's Shaley. messing up right now. He's here. Fuck, Shaylee girl. Jane. She's Come fucking on. sexy. Come on. Come Shaylee, on. shout outs. Shout out, Shaylee. Uh, season two. Anyway, so back to you. So where were we? Back to me. So I saw you. I was intimidated. I was like, people had talked of you. I shouldn't use names, but our little tiny Asian boss. Creo. Um, you met Creo. Oh, yeah, Creo. Right. Creo. Creo are, he's Asian, but he's like Filipino Asian. Also Creotian. Also known as Creole because he loves black and chicken. Anyway, he basically said. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. So tag team. Go ahead. So uh, one of my managers, Creole, who loves black and chicken, <laughs> came to me. It was like, oh, so did you hear we uh, hired your twin? And I was like, okay, like, who? who's my twin? He's like, well, you can just say that uh, we can call her, like, uh, mm, Black Elise. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm going to notice two things from that. But the main thing is, um, her name is Elise. <laughs> He's like, no, you're fine. <laughs> He thought, he thought, oh, well, yeah. I was like, Elise. she's definitely not black. So her name's Elise. And I'm like, this is threatening. <laughs> this is threatening. Man. So anyways, I met you. This is threatening. Yeah, well, I met you. And I was like, okay, this girl, she says she bags groceries from Salem. <laughs> like, it's probably just like a cover up. <laughs> oh, my God. For bagging weed and selling it. Yeah, like I was, well. uh, you thought I was intimidating and I thought you were threatening. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that, yes. dude. Real disclosure, I didn't know that all these years. I've known yes. you since uh, 2015, right? So yep. four, five years. I didn't know that at all. I did not know that. You know, I made yeah. the master, I made the queen feel a little bit threatened <laughs> yeah. by the court jester, and I'm honored to uh, have made you feel so uncomfortable by my attractiveness. I mean, and that was before the hair, so. I agree. The hair is in a weird stage, but you know what? It's okay, can be, I just tell you? It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, it, please, it, it, please, is, please. it is. Please, please, please. Tell me the story. So I'm one of the first times I ever kind of noticed Brittany, <laughs> Brit OG, Black Lace, whatever you want to call her, uh-huh. was a video she posted probably <gasps> I already know this two before. weeks oh, after yeah. she got hired at um, the restaurant, the Greek one. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's a video of her cat and her, and she's just sprayed money all <laughs> over her cat. What's your cat's name again? Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. 20 years. 1997 to 2017. Yeah. Rest in peace, Gucci. Rest in peace, Gucci. Um, she's, she's just fanned money all out on this cat. And honestly... <laughs> At most, it was maybe $80. No, it was 110 but thanks for checking. It was 110 mm. And then her cat is, her, Gucci is sleeping. And she goes, she's fit mine. She goes, hey, hey, wake up. <laughs> we ranch. Hey, we ranch. And the cat goes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny. Me and my girlfriend at the time fucking washed it a billion times. A billion times. <laughs> hey, and wake we, up. We ranch. And, yeah, and we would go to each other like, Hey, babe. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> we can't. We ranch. <laughs> yeah, dude. And I was like, I can't wait to actually like be friends with this guy. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Wow. Like, you're such a fucking homo, dude. Uh, and then I came over for New Year's that late this Oh, summer. yeah. At my ex girlfriend's house. And then you guys were like, let's play strip something. And then I end up seeing you half naked. 
<laughs> like many do. <laughs> <laughs> you had candy cane underwear on. Oh, yeah. The first time I saw okay. your underpants. Okay. Yeah. Did you like it or? I mean, I was on the fence because, you know, <laughs> I see you as a man. Um, Sorry. Yep. And I don't, you know, you and I are brothers. I mean, we were trying to jokingly make it out on Snap earlier and it was a bit much. So to say the least. So what do you, oh, fuck. What was it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. My question. Always losing track of the question. Always. It was, uh, uh. So what about not gay stuff? No, it was about actually gay stuff again. One more question. Okay, one more, more question. Again. It was about uh, oh, straight girls. Okay, I want to talk about this. Let me give you my experience. So with straight girls, right? People like see me and they, they see my ex. They see um, a few girls I've dated where they've had nothing but guys. They've been hetero their whole life. And then, you know, people like us end up dating them for whatever reason. And I know a few of those psychological reasons, but... What, um, do you ever get people who literally, like, accuse you of trying to turn people or of actually turning people? Oh, my God. I just remembered the keyword. <laughs> the keyword. Say it. Say the keyword. Spatula. So why do they call you the spatula? So it was unbeknownst to me that uh, a couple of girls that worked at our Greek restaurant um, would call me, actually, and one dude who was super cool. Shout out to you. You know who you are. <laughs> he was a host. Do you know him, The gay one? Yeah. But he wasn't was actually gay? gay one? The trans one? No, he wasn't. No. Oh, oh. No, no. That's not fun. Um, uh, he was, he was gay <laughs> seeming, but he wasn't? Yeah. Maybe you didn't know him. Anyways. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Shout out to you, because I know you're fucking watching. Mm. Um, they would, every time I would walk in, um, they would have like a little headset, and uh, behind my back, they'd be like, the spatula has arrived. <laughs> the spatula has landed. And I had no idea. Mm. Until my ex-girlfriend's bachelor party, bachelorette party, they all brought it up and whatever, and one of the girls that I worked with at the Greek restaurant was like, oh yeah, the spatula. <laughs> and my ex at the time was like, who's the spatula? Oh. And what does that even mean? <laughs> That's what everyone's wondering. So basically, they call me the spatula because literally... In Greek to English translation, I would flip girls <laughs> from straight to gay. The and end. so it's like a nickname because it's the a spatula. joke and also oh. because she has dated a lot of straight girls. Meaning by straight, okay, there I believe there are two types of straight girls. As a joke, I actually wrote this as a joke. I'll tell you the joke first and I'll tell you the real <laughs> what I actually think. But the joke is there are two types of straight girls. They're the types that are afraid of their own vaginas. And then there's a types that will fuck me. And so <laughs> the types who are afraid of their own vaginas are like, they're so afraid of their vagina because it's so, like, girls who are afraid of their own vagina, I'm afraid of them because if you're afraid of what's going on in there, why the fuck would I put my face yeah. on something you're afraid to no. even look at or touch? Like, it's probably gnarly, smelly, fishy. That's a red flag. All. That's a like, red flag. We've all, we've all, I always used to say we've all had bad pussy on stage, but like, this one has never had. Never. Like, Good for you. Shout out to all my exes. Fuck. Good on you, exes. Never I'm so had a bad pussy. Jealous. But then again, I think I've slept with more people than you. Oh, should we do numbers? Yeah, we definitely should do numbers. Are we going to do male but then we gotta get back. Yes. Okay. So, that's ten? Wait, nine? That's nine. Total, including guys? Total, including, including guys. Including hookups and... I don't have hookups. Uh, I'm not a slut, YouTube. Okay. Okay, okay don't... Before you say that, like... What about, uh, remember yeah. you and Sansa? Who? In the truck? In the... Oh. <laughs> okay, only, only a girl named Sandwich and, <laughs> and my ex actually know about that story and it's going to say that way. So. Oh, okay, well, we're not going to tell the story, no. but you do have hookups. I mean, according to that story. Is but this, hookup? Like, this was emo lease with her hair like this and she had a lot to prove on that. Okay, anyway, we won't get into that. We won't get into I'm so sorry. Okay, okay back, to, back to business, back to business. Okay, okay, I'm nine. I'm nine. Nine, okay. I'm, I believe, 18 at this point. Oh, my God. I'm 31 next month. Cool. Shut I'm... the fuck up. I've been having sex since I was 20. That's 10, 11 years. That's like two people a year, not even. I don't, I haven't had a relationship. If you break it down, yeah, if you break it down. That and way. I don't, I, there were years why I didn't have sex. This year has been one of the most insane years. Uh, wow. I'm so sorry. Wow. That's I'm squirting. offended, yeah. and I am absolutely distraught over that. Um, But anyway... Uh, so, okay. Can so wait, you're, you're 18? A pro yeah, three guys, 15 girls. 
That's fair, dude. Come on. That's a one and a half girls a year. And then with the guys, it was my early 20s. I was like, I have to make sure that I'm done with the. So you're not a gold star lesbian? No. Yeah, I remember when I was and I was like holding on to it. I was like, yeah, I'm cool. And then now I'm like, I'm glad I experienced it because otherwise it'd always be like, I need to know. Right? There are. Okay. So I believe that's there fair. are. There are two types of straight girls jokingly like, huh, uh, the joke I made. But I believe there are two types. There's a type that are ground zero on the Kinsey scale. They are exclusively hetero. They have either tried making out with a girl and thought, oh, that's not for me. Or they tried to out with a girl that's not for me. And they at least tried it. Or they've never tried it because they know I am 100%. For example, there is another side, which is the sick side, which is exclusively homo. And they, the guy, gay guys, like, oh, I never, it was done. Or they're like, I've tried vagina. It's the worst thing in the world. So, like, it's not about the genitals and stuff. I'm just saying people have tried it on each end of the spectrum. They don't like it or they haven't tried it. They know they do not like it. And that's where they stand. They are exclusively hetero, exclusively homo. That's where it is. But most people are in the middle of the hoo 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 hoo. And that's what I do believe. And, like, I don't believe everyone. I know gays who believe everyone's gay. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I know the straightest people in the world. There's no fucking yeah. way. There's, There's no stuff. spectrum with that. Right. So There's I this think, or that. The thing I don't like about the spatula is pe- I've been seeing a spatula, too, based on my exes or girls yeah, yeah. I've been seeing. And it's like I am not trying to do some voodoo magic. I flirt with everyone. So do you, kind of. Mm-hmm. Yes. When you're drunk, it's fun. Because it's fucking fun and funny. However, what was that? <laughs> sorry, my girlfriend. Sorry, mom. No. Oh yeah, I forgot your girlfriend's gonna see this. Who's your girlfriend? This one thing about your girlfriend. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I like your girlfriend for now. Um, <laughs> no, she always accuses me of spelling like laundry. I'm like, why is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. It's Thank definitely, you. It's definitely right. Bad thing. Would you rather that or smell like ass? Okay. Anyway, Can so. I smell? Yeah, sure. I think you'll like it. It's a bit of me mixed. Oh no, that's you right? You like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or right, anyway. <laughs> That was so natural. I don't like how people think that I'm trying to turn them. How it's like, oh, Brit, like, you'll never get me because I'm too straight. I'm like, cool. I Just because I flirt with you doesn't mean I want you. I swear, mothers, single mothers, no. regular mothers, Whoa, they have high moms? Of course. The one, the, the one from the, the, the fat, the huge one that I'm not attracted to? Yes. I flirt with her because it's fucking hilarious. I'm like, yeah. hey, what are you doing later? Yeah. Because it's hilarious. Yeah, it's just joking. Yeah. It's just joking. I love, like, I love just, like, I with old men I'll do it, with old women I'll do it, because it's just so fun. It's not sexual harassment if no. everyone's having no. fun. So I don't like how people think I'm trying to, like, convert the fucking, like, it's not my agenda. My agenda is to have fun. And then, hey, sometimes, this is how I see straight girls. They're like a garden. Right? You fertilize, you you plant enough seeds, and then eventually something might grow. So yeah. But you don't get emotionally involved and be like, why are you not gay? Like, no, everyone's fucking straight until they until otherwise happens. Yep. Anyway, spatula. That's fair. Um, yeah, that's fair. Um I uh I flirt with uh, if you were to ask me like who I mainly flirt with mm. when I'm single, by the way. Which is like one minute a year. One minute is, a year. This is the relationship broad. I'm the emotionally unavailable, like hopeless romantic that is not romantic apparently because i can't get any romance <laughs> you're the you're, you're romantic romantic hopeless but here's the thing like here's what i wanted to say like i, need I don't i don't flirt with just gay girls and i don't flirt with just straight girls i don't know what you, you are with guys too because it's fun uh, i do actually no. not seriously though no, i don't I thought, guys, no. why not except for my one really good friend uh-huh jay Oh, okay. Yeah. I know who that is. Shout out, Jay. Okay, shout out, He's, uh, yeah, he's really cool. Uh, you'll meet him. Yeah. He's a, he's a regular. Okay. Yeah, he's cool. Oh! That again. You know Jay? We can't talk about it on camera, but you know what I'm going to say. You know, like, yeah, you're your straight friend, right? Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you would never guess. She was, she was like, saying that I was. And I was like, are you? He's like, no. <laughs> Are you gay? And he's like, do you think? And I'm like, okay, you're fucking gay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you're Anyways, a straight friend. So, like, I don't flirt with, I just flirt with who I find attractive. And, yeah, that may be a man. And that may be a woman. Mostly women. Are you trying to come out Mostly as bi? Women. No, no, absolutely okay. not bi. Absolutely not bi. Okay. But I'm saying, like, I don't just find the lesbians and flirt with them. No, I don't Most find them either. Okay, so them. let's touch back. So we're in the exact let's same. Let's touch down in London town. You know what I mean? That song? No. Let's touch down in London. I like it, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anyways, um, what I was saying was a lot of people are like, oh, well, you flirt with this and you flirt with that. Mm. But it's like, I flirt 
just so happens to be with a lot of straight girls. And why is that? Because I see myself as like the guy, a guy mm-hmm. and like in a male perspective. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, I just want this girl. And they're like, yeah, I'm not gay. I'm like, yo, me neither, homo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not fucking gay. I get that. I was like, oh, wait, yeah. Okay. All right, me neither. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you and I all the time. are all the time. like are like straight guys mm-hmm. in lesbian fat chunky form. But it's funny because people say, "So oh, I spell on you." You've been this is the fourth time. Tonight. No way. No, I'm literally. That's upset. usually Don't you. Talk to me right now. That's usually you. It is. I have a slithering fluff of half. <laughs> okay, you need to get more in the frame because it's annoying me. It's like I'm I need to move over or like you need to. Okay, so anyway, it's suck my dick. <sighs> Can we just cut for one minute? Okay. Cut. Fuck you.